All right, what's going on YouTube? T Torres back here for another video. All right, so today you're probably wondering why is my car in the shop and why is it on the lift? Well, today what I'm going to share with you all is how to change your oil and your tension Honda. So this this doesn't go for um, if you just have the SI model. This is for all tension Hondas. They should all be relatively same. You know, they should have the same drain plug bolt and they should probably all take the same oil filter. So if they're not, then I'll just correct it and we'll go from there. But yeah, first off, um, I want to thank all you guys for following this journey with me and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Like I said, my channel is, is constantly growing and growing and growing and I really do appreciate that because it's because of you all that I get to, uh, you know, make content and I get to film and I get to have fun and, you know, this is something that I like to do on the side for, so it's a hobby. So I really do appreciate uh, all my new subscribers and then all my OGs that have been with me for a while. So if this is the first time that you're stopping into my video, please hit that subscribe button and then let's get to uh, today's oil change. All right, one other thing that I want to mention before we get started uh, with oil change. So my car currently has, I think, 4,300 or 4,400 miles on it and the maintenance meter says the oil change is at 50%. So, you know, uh, I called Honda and they told me to go off of whatever the maintenance meter says. So when the maintenance meter gets down to 0%, you change oil. And I was like, no, I don't know. Something about that just doesn't seem right because uh, people were saying like, oh yeah, my first oil change was at seven or 8,000 miles. And, and I'm like, I don't know, just from all the experience I've had with new cars or even other cars, I've always changed it at 3,000 or 5,000 with full synthetic wool. So use your, use your best judgment. And I mean, if you have access to a place like a lift or somewhere where you can change the oil or you know, you put the car in jacks in, change the oil yourself. Uh, hopefully this video makes it easy for you and it saves you a trip to the dealership and having to pay that money. Um, because this process should be super simple. It should only take you about, about 30 minutes. And also I'm gonna show you guys how to reset the oil maintenance meter inside your car and then we're gonna rotate the tires and also change that on the maintenance meter itself. All right guys, so today we're gonna to be using uh, Mobile One Zero W20 uh, full synthetic blend oil. Um, I'm currently doing some research now. I believe it's, four, I've heard four quarts, I've heard 3.7, I've heard 3.8. I'm waiting for Honda to give me a call back. So in the meantime, um, the oil filter that I'm using is the M1110. And this is an itty bitty little guy. So I'm gonna see if I can get a close up and show you the, the number on the oil filter. There you go, M1110. That is the oil filter that you're gonna be using. So for right now, I'm just gonna stand by on how many quarts of oil it is, and, um, and all the correct information will be in the, in the description below. And so now, um, the next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the, um, the skid plate off that's on the bottom of the car, which will allow us to get to the oil filter and to the, um, to the drain plug. All right, so here is the skid plate that you have to take off to, uh, to get to the oil drain plug and the oil filter. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna wanna remove these clips right here. Just spin those outward. Oh, that's not good. All right, so there's one, and you have one right here that you need to take out. Of course, it's too big. So I'm just gonna go over all the ones that you need to have removed because it's kind of hard to film with one hand and unscrew with the other. All right, so what you're going to remove is you're going to remove this one. There's one here. There's one here. There's one here, 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 here. And then you have another one right here and right here. So all in all, let's, let's count that up. You're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're gonna remove you're gonna remove ten bolts in order to remove this skid plate. Alright so just like I mentioned you have ten bolts that'll come out. So there they all are and now the skid plate is completely loose and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to take the skid plate and move it back towards the rear of the car and then boom now you have quick access right here to the old drain plug. There's the oil filter and then there's the drain plug. So if you guys notice a change in, um, in quality, that's because I'm on the GoPro right now. And plus, it's super loud. That's right. They have a bunch of uh, they have a bunch of air tools and stuff going on. So like I said, remove ten bolts, and then you come over here. You got your itty bitty little oil filter, and then you have your um, oil drain plug right here. All right, guys. To remove the uh, oil drain plug, it is going to be uh, 11 sixteenths.
All right, there I go. That was that was on there tight. All right, so let me let me get this started. To drain. Please don't get no oil on me. There she comes. All right, boom. Now she's draining. Here's what the color of the oil looks like. It has 4,000 miles on it. Most of it's already drained out, but I mean, that's that's pretty black. It's still a little goldish, yellowish, I guess you could say. But yeah, I'm thinking it was time to change it. And also, I think it just depends on how hard you drive your car. So next thing we're gonna do, of course, is to get this little uh, baby, baby oil filter off. Let this finish draining until it's just down to a couple drips. And then we'll drain the rest of the oil out of the oil filter. All right, so now the oil is now draining to a, you know just a couple drops, and the fresh the fresh ring on the drain plug is good uh, by itself. So we don't have to replace the fresh ring. So next next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put the drain plug back in. And then after that. We're gonna tighten that back up and get the oil filter out. All right, let's get that drain plug tightened. All right, next thing is gonna be the oil filter. I've already loosened it with the wrench, so don't worry about that. I know I'm loosening it with my hand. A bunch of in there. Let that drain for just a second and then we'll remove it the rest of the way. Okay, the rest of the oil is out. And one other thing you want to check is you want to make sure that the the gasket that was on the oil filter isn't left up there. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Alright, so here you go. Now the now the oil filter is off. It doesn't appear to be any of the gasket left on there, so that's good. I ran into a couple cars that I've changed the oil on and the gasket was actually still stuffed on there and I, and I went to go crank the car up and all the oil was shot out. So definitely make sure that that, that that gasket is not left on there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the new oil filter, put some of the new oil, I'm gonna put about a quarter of the way full of that filter and then we're gonna lube up the, the gasket around the oil filter. All right, so here you have it. And once again, I'm sorry about the noise. There's other people in here trying to do work and stuff. So here's your oil filter. This is the M1 110, like I said. It's a super small little guy. So now we're gonna do, we're gonna open up our oil. Okay. One jug of the Zero uh, W20. Crack this bad boy open. Like I said, we're gonna maybe fill it up, a, the filter itself, a quarter of the way, and that's it. So pour a little bit in there. Okay, pour a little bit on the side. Then what you're gonna wanna do is take your finger and the oil you poured on the side and get this gasket completely completely lubed in it. If you feel like you, you you think you did it too much, don't. You can never put too much lube on the outside of this gasket. This will make your life a lot easier uh, when it comes to taking this oil filter back off for the next oil change. So make sure that's good and lubed up. Okay, so that's good and lubed up. I'm gonna go ahead and pour just a little bit more oil inside the filter itself, okay? And then we're gonna go outside the, the gasket one more time. All right. So make sure that you move up your oil filter gasket. All right, so let's put the new oil filter back in. And I went ahead and wiped off all the oil that had spilt from where the filter originally came off. So one, one rule of thumb that I always do with this is I only go like a quarter turn uh, past tight. That's all I do. So once you get it as snug as you can get it with your hand, Crank on it just a little bit. All right, so I just reached snug. Now I'm just gonna go a quarter turn uh, past that. Okay, oil filter's on there good. And so now let's get to pouring the oil in the car. All right guys, so we had just drained the oil, uh, drained the oil filter and put the new oil filter on. So, and just remember the, the ratchet size for the drain plug is 11. 
the 11 16 so that's what you're gonna need so we got a skid plate put back on and i was talking to uh, my buddy anthony he was he was off of a honda form anthony i know you're watching thank you for the information anthony clarified for me out of the owner's manual that is 3.7 quarts including the filter that's how much oil you need to put back into the engine so of course we're going to add 3.7 quarts back into the engine So if many of you are wondering, like I am, what does the muffler look like with the uh, with the muffler delete in the resonator? This is what it looks like. So you have this one welded straight piece of pipe, <clears throat> and then you come here to the back, and then this is this is how they ran it off of this. I don't know if you want to call this a Y pipe or whatever. So this is how they they did the the muffler delete here. So yeah, I'm pretty impressed. This is the first time I got to see you know the underside of the car on the lift. So this is what the muffler and resonator looks like. And you come over here and you have just a nice straight piece of pipe so yep that's the first look at that so some of you guys are interested in getting you know your car just a little bit louder because there's no exhaust out right now that i'm completely 100 percent like i gotta have it so the, the resonator muffler delete is going to hold me over until i get a nice exhaust put on there all right the next thing you want to do is obviously locate where the oil cap is go ahead and take that off just remember it's only 3.7 quarts of oil Remember, this is 0W20, full synthetic, mobile one. Once again, sorry if it's loud in here. <clears throat> Alright, the second court is now going in. Alright, the third, third court is now going in. Anthony just informed me that on page 148 of the owner's manual, you'll find the oil capacity and how much it takes. So just in case some of you all were wondering like, oh no, that's not right. Page 148 in the owner's manual. All right, the last little bit is going in right now. All right, perfect. That's exactly 3.7. Okay. Go ahead and put your oil, oil cap back on. Boom. And that's that. Make sure you do 3.7 ounces. Alright guys, so the next thing that we're going to do since we completed the oil changes, or the oil change, we're going to rotate the tires. Uh, the socket for the lug nuts is 3 quarters. Ran out of air. Let me go cut it on. All right, we got plenty of air now. Everybody, who doesn't like this noise? All right, so I don't know about any of the other models, but the SI model does have a, it has a special lug nut and you have to have the key, which mine was in my glove box. So don't forget that you're gonna need to have the key to take off uh, the last lug nut. All right, so the way that I rotate tires is, this one is gonna go diagonal from here. So this is now the driver left side. This is now gonna be going to the right rear. And then the passenger side is gonna go from the, the passenger front rear, or front front right, to the, to the driver's side left. So what we're doing is we're gonna take the tires and we're gonna cross them. So every time you do a oil change and a tire rotation, the tires are not going back into the same spot. Alrighty, so this tire is gonna go into the back of the, it's gonna go to the right rear. All right, so I'm not gonna show you guys, but I am gonna go ahead and take off the rest of the tires. Just remember, um, like I said, we're gonna take the tires and they're gonna go, uh, my camera's crooked. We're gonna take the tires and we're gonna cross them. So front left is going to right rear. The, uh, the front right is going to the left rear. And then you, what you do with the two fronts, they're already gonna get swapped out from the zigzag. So just remember, we're just crossing the tires, that's it. All right, so we're gonna wheel this tire to the uh, passenger side uh, rear. All right, 
what you want to make sure you do is whenever you tighten these load nuts back, you go in a star pattern, just like this. Do the one direct opposite from it. Okay, and then that's the special key one, and then we'll do this one. Okay? So once we once we get this back tightened, we'll torque them all back down to spec, and then we'll have all the tires uh, rotated. The, the correct torque spec for the wheel is 80 foot-pounds. So of course, you know, you're gonna put it on there, and then you hear it click. You can't hear this one, but it, it already clicked, so. You can feel it in the handle also. So 80 foot-pounds is what you need to torque the wheels back to. All right, guys, so. Oil change is complete, tire, tire rotation is complete. Now the only thing left for me to show you is how to reset the maintenance meter for the oil change and the tire rotation. So we're gonna get right into that. All right, first thing you wanna do, go ahead and key the car into accessory mode. Cut the AC off. God, I, I love that. I love that startup menu. Okay, come on, cut off. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna go over here, hit okay. Let that load up home you're gonna go to settings you're gonna go to vehicle okay you're gonna go to vehicle then you're gonna go to maintenance information uh, select items to reset so we're gonna do engine oil and it's gonna ask you would you like to reset the maintenance information oil life is 50% and then of course you're gonna hit yes reset Maintenance information has been reset, so let's just go over here and let's verify that the oil has been reset to 100%. As you can see right there, oil life 100%. Okay, so that's good. Now the other thing we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to maintenance information, select reset items, oil and filter, reset, okay. Go back to maintenance information, select reset items, you're gonna go to tire rotation. Would you like to reset maintenance information? Oil off 100% tire rotation. You're gonna go ahead and hit reset. Boom, and so everything else like that is now done. So, uh, let me get some light on me. So, um, that is how you change your car, or not change your car, come on man. That's how you change your oil and rotate your tires on your 10th gen Honda Civic. So, I'm pretty sure that all the oil filters are gonna be the same, the drain plugs are gonna be the same, all the, all the, the socket sizes should all be the same, so hopefully, um, this video helped you guys out when it comes to doing your own maintenance work like that So you don't have to drive to the dealer and you know, so you know You can learn on your own and you can save yourself some money So if you enjoyed today's video, please uh, give it a big thumbs up um, Like I said, you know when you guys, you know like my video and you share it You know it puts me out there on YouTube in the suggestion block and you know I get views and you know from different viewers and stuff So um, if you're stopping into the channel for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for letting me do this It's because of y'all peace Okay, it's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'.